I'll show you a new performance bar feature. Performance bar is a handy tool for identifying performance issues on a specific page. For example, you can see a list of SQL queries done by request and you can investigate its uh, backtraces and identify methods which executes um, these slow uh, queries or so many SQL queries. What is new is that recently we started gathering also overall statistics about uh, about SQL queries done by all requests which have uh, performance bar enabled. You can access these stat statistics by clicking the stats link in the performance bar. And on the statistics page you can see a couple of charts. First of all, what we do is that for each request which has performance bar enabled. We, we parse uh, backtraces of all uh, SQL queries and uh, we group, uh, we group uh, SQL queries by its location. So we store methods which uh, call uh, we which call uh, any SQL query and uh, we log how many SQL queries they ex execute and what was their duration. So in the first chart we can see the overall number of processed requests, number of SQL queries and duration of all SQL queries. This chart is handy for identifying Time frames uh, when there was some uh, spike in duration or n plus one issues. For example, if you see a spike in uh, duration uh, graph, it means that during this time frame there was probably one or more uh, SQL queries executed, and you can drill down in the chart and identify identify the method uh, uh, in from from the charts below I will get to this later so next chart is maximum number of SQL queries by single request so here we show a list of methods which execute uh, most uh, SQL queries per single request. Uh, so for example perform method in pipeline chain create executes more than 1300 SQL queries per single request which might indicate uh, some n plus one issue. So this, this uh, this uh, chart in general is handy for identifying n plus one issue candidates. Next, uh, next one is overall number of SQL queries. This is handy for identifying uh, methods which are which execute SQL query most frequently. So we can see that the full path is uh, full path method executes an SQL query and it's called really often. So this can be handy for identifying queries which might be optimized further because they are called so often. Total time is uh, handy for identifying methods with biggest impact because these methods execute uh, uh, this chart shows uh, overall time uh, its duration multiplied by the frequency so any optimization done in these methods will have uh, biggest impact on the overall performance and the average duration 
uh, shows the list of slowest SQL queries or methods which execute the slowest SQL queries. So in these uh, charts we show just uh, uh, method locations but it may not be obvious uh, how to what is really going on or how to reproduce a request which executed it. So let me show you how to find a specific request based on this method location. You can select uh, some method location which you want to investigate further and you need to search for the specific request ID based on this location. And you can find this request ID in sidekick logs because these statistics are processed in sidekick worker and you can add a filter and filter by method path so now you get uh, all all these requests uh, were processed by by uh, by this performance stats worker and you can take uh, one of these request IDs and search for this specific request in rails logs request and we can see that uh, in this case it's uh, it's a method uh, in pipelines controller which uh, does this uh, excessive amount of SQL queries so from here you can just try to uh, try to access the same page and see if you can reproduce uh, the same issue and uh, continue with debugging as you are used to. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.